Hey, Jordan with TYT. Uh, I am here with uh, the founder of FAIR, uh, as well as the Park Center for uh, Independent Media, media uh, Jeff Cohen. And uh, you're actually one of the most interesting panels at the People Summit, I think, uh, is about the media and the media movement, or, mo or moment, shall we say. Uh, I kind of first uh, was introduced to you, you were in Outfoxed, <laughs> which was an amazing chronicle of just the just dire, uh, evil nature of uh, a, a, new, a news organization uh, that Fox News. Fox News, to this day, you get incredible accolades for. A better slogan for Fox would be, we opine, you recline. Out Foxed. Rupert Murdoch's war on journalism. I want to start with a picture because uh, you have a picture of uh, an empty podium that's zooming in on waiting for Donald Trump to speak, uh, courtesy of CNN. And I think that's pretty symbolic of, of this election. Yeah. I mean, week after week, the coverage that was given to Trump versus the coverage to Bernie was, you can't say, well, the thumb was on the scale against Bernie in support of Clinton or in support of, you know, Trump. They had their whole half of their body on the scale against Bernie. And this screenshot, just what it shows is that moment, and it happened a few times, where all of the cable news channels are waiting and waiting for Trump to go to a podium. There's all the American flags behind, and we think Trump's expected any minute. And during this time, Bernie Sanders was giving a big speech. The cable news channels did not cover one second of the speech from Bernie Sanders while they were waiting for Trump. So we should say giving speeches in front of thousands of people. No doubt. I mean, just look at, uh, there's so many ways of proving the media bias. The beauty of the Bernie campaign, one of its most successful outcomes, is that millions of people, not just young people, but many young people, have learned you can't trust corporate media. You have to look for in, in, independent uh, outlets like the Young Turks. Uh, all, a lot of independent media are growing because people no longer trust corporate media because they got an education about media bias. You didn't need to get a media studies degree or go in debt for student loans for 60 grand to learn what you can learn in the last year. ABC World News Tonight is the classic. During the first 11 months of last year, when there were two candidates. One was an outsider in the Republican Party that surprisingly was soaring in the polls, getting big crowds, and there was this guy in the Democratic side, soaring in the polls, getting the biggest crowds. Tonight in the heart of Greenwich Village, there are a lot of people here tonight. Bernie, Bernie Palooza. Donald Trump got 81 minutes of coverage, and Bernie Sanders got 20 seconds. Just imagine if it was more like 50 minutes to Trump and 25 minutes to Bernie, how things might have been different from the beginning. And you could go from one channel to another, one outlet to another, when every major candidate announced for president that they were gonna run, it was front page coverage in the New York Times. Where was Bernie Sanders' announcement? It was buried on page 821 of the Times. You could look at the Washington Post with their record setting 16 negative stories about Bernie Sanders in 16 hours. So the beauty from my perspective and the reason we've got such a huge crowd, you know, they've set up a lot of tables for people to talk about media here at this People Summit. People are utterly outraged, and I want to turn that outrage into action. Uh, it's important if you've got friends and neighbors and coworkers and relatives who still believe the crap that they get on the mainstream media. It's your job to try to debunk it, tell them about fair.org, which you know debunks media bias day after day. And this, your second task, if you're an activist, is to build independent outlets like the Young Turks. Donate to them. So, uh, use social media to promote them, and that kind of thing is happening. Uh, so I, I look at the Bernie campaign not as a loss, uh, as a big victory, especially in the area of media, uh, exposing media bias. And I think, um, like the actual, what happened in politics, uh, the generational gap that we saw uh, for Hillary supporters and Bernie supporters, it perfectly aligns with media, Correct. because 
love my parents. Thank you for doing a somewhat good job. I mean, they watch Fox News. Um, and and uh, most of Hillary's supporters get, I don't want to blanket, but a huge portion are older and watch CNN and those kinds of things. Uh, and they're, on CNN, part of the problem is it's class-based. Anderson Cooper, Wolf Blitzer, God bless them, they live in very nice houses. They're not connected to the working class. Morning Joe, uh, do you think that generational gap uh, between the voters but also uh, who watch the media uh, played a big part? Yeah, and I, I think that's another exciting thing. Again, people say I'm too upbeat, but when you think about it, the most progressive age demographic are people under 35 in our country. What do you have to say to the TV news pundits, a lot of elected Democrats, who say, I, I appreciate your guy's idealism, but he's selling free stuff and a bill of goods and none of it's realistic? It's absolutely realistic. What they're doing right now is robbing us of everything that we have and what we've worked hard for. And that's not what America is about. And it should be about helping the people. It's when the bottom line is people. It's off the charts. Even, you know, are you more sympathetic to socialism or capitalism? You know, it's off the charts that that's the most progressive age demographic. And it's no accident, as you say, that that's the age demographic that gets more of its news and information from social media, independent media, new media. What's the median age of a Fox News Channel viewer? It's almost 70. What's the median age of a Bill O'Reilly viewer? It's over 70. So. Uh, that's the beauty of what's going on. So yes, Bernie may not be the next president, but I'm excited about who are going to be senators and congress members in two, four, or eight years, and who's going to be running for president in four, eight years, eight years, because the age demographic is on the side of progressives, and the independent media growth curve is being propelled by young people. So those are all good things. Of course, the downside is we have to deal with the threat of climate change, and that doesn't have decades for us to uh, work on. And, um, you know, you look at moving past the election, I mean, just this week, DNC has not denied uh, memos that have leaked showing collusion between Hillary Clinton and the DNC dating back to a year ago. You have stories where uh, it's now shown that she gave a mega donor a cushy spot on a national intelligence board where he had secret clearance. Neither of these things are on the mainstream media. Right, but they get covered in... The, I mean, Jordan, you probably know as well as any reporter what needs what needed to have been covered about Hillary Clinton, Bill Clinton, the Clinton Foundation. You can find all this stuff in The Intercept with Lee Fon. You find it on The Young Turks. You find it on Democracy Now! But you're right. This is almost censored news. One of the biggest donors, institutional donors, to Hillary Clinton is Time Warner. And they own CNN. Time Warner has given assist to Hillary Clinton's career going back years, not just in the last year. And uh, a Comcast at, VP did a fundraiser for her last year. And Comcast owns MSNBC. And the important thing is that the way the corporate media spectrum is constructed, I've been talking about this for decades, FAIR, if you go to FAIR.org, you'll see the limited political spectrum that's allowed on corporate media. It's a spectrum that goes from the center to the right. It's a narrow corporate spectrum from GE to GM, General Electric to General Motors. and. Bernie's coming forward with all these proposals that are just outside that spectrum. Those proposals were never heard on mainstream TV until Bernie was running. And they had to, you know, what the hell is enhanced Medicare for all? What, what's wrong with the TPP? What is the TPP? You know, the TPP wasn't covered on CNN. So um, what people need to understand, and you brought it out well, is that this idea that MSNBC and CNN are somehow left wing or liberal, or that's where you get an alternative to Fox. No, that's where you get a Tweedledee, Tweedledum spectrum. That's where you get, I mean, Fox News did not give the open megaphone to Donald Trump that CNN and MSNBC did. When there was a break, you know, every time Trump was going to a podium, it was breaking news on MSNBC and CNN, and you'd hear 10, 15, 20 minutes of Trump talking about himself at a rally. Imagine if Bernie got that treatment, and he's not gonna get that treatment. Trump gave them ratings, but without the anti-corporate baggage. 
Uh, Bernie would have given them ratings. Bernie, uh, uh, but it would have come with a lot of things that would have attacked their sponsors. When he talks about big pharma, when it's mainstream TV news, pharmaceutical industry is about the biggest sponsor. The, perhaps the next biggest sponsor is the oil and gas industry. They don't want to hear about banning fracking and climate change. So. Bernie cuts against all corporate media, yes, he would have given them ratings. I feel vindicated. I worked in cable news for years. I was exiled when I wrote my tell-all book, Cable News Confidential, My Misadventures in Corporate Media. Have not been asked back. I was a regular on all the cable news channels, paid, pundit, uh, on-air pundit. And I would argue with these executives saying, if you put unbridled progressive viewpoints you're going to get bigger ratings. And I think Bernie has proven it, that he sort of made a breakthrough in spite of the mainstream media for the progressive domestic agenda. It's popular with millions and millions of people, especially young people, but millions of people. Uh, but you're right, the, the upside is Bernie can give them ratings just like Trump does, perhaps not as big, but also big. But the downside is corporate advertiser flight. You don't have to worry about that at the Young Turks. Democracy Now! doesn't worry about corporate advertiser flight. The real news, all these independent, they don't have to worry about that. But at <coughs> CNN and MSNBC, the reason they're one baby step left of center at best, and then you go to the far right with Fox News, that's the normal media spectrum in mainstream media, from center to right, from GE to GM. And last question. Bernie, uh, I think in less than two days, he's had Last time I counted, 12, 13,000 people sign up or express interest in running for office just because he kind of called to arms. Uh, do you think we might see out of this election the same thing in journalism, where people, instead of you know just sitting back and taking the, the corruption or the unannounced bias, I think I think that there's a confusion about bias. Everyone's biased, but right. there's people who are open about it. And, so they pretend right. they're objective. But do you think yeah. that there uh, will be an influx of new journalists? Yeah. You're so right. Um, I teach at Ithaca College in the journalism department. I teach a class in independent media. I teach about the Young Turks in my class. And by the way, uh, a lot of my students haven't, some of them have heard of Democracy Now! Almost all of them have heard of the Young Turks. Feel free to show them my video. Yeah, 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 believe me, I'm, I've used stuff. Uh, I think I have used you in class. I know Jake's been in, you know, he's a regular in my classroom. But yes, there's no doubt about it that one, Journalists know, young journalists, journalists coming out of college, that mainstream media are not hiring. I tell people, the students in my first class, the good news, the bad news is that for you young journalists graduating this year, is corporate mainstream media are not doing a lot of hiring. The good news for you is that corporate mainstream media are not doing a lot of hiring. It's both good news and bad news. And then I finish it by saying an independent media are booming. Democracy Now! is booming. The Young Turks is, is booming. Uh, all of these outlets that are in this room are growing. And that's where the people that have any kind of a social conscience who are coming out of journalism school, that's where they want to go. So yes, I have no doubt that the Bernie campaign has been a boon to journalists who aspire to be at independent outlets. I, I'm very close with Jeremy Scahill, award-winning, regularly winning awards for his investigative journalism. And Jeremy Scahill, he's been at Ithaca three times talking to my students, Ithaca College, and he talks about how, you know, he knew he wanted to work at Democracy Now. If he was going to be a journalist, he didn't want to be anywhere else. And he begged her, and he browbeat Amy Goodman. I'll walk your dog. I'll do anything for you. Just let me volunteer. And I know your story at the Young Turks is similar. I think that we're in the old days, meaning even 15 years ago, the dream of a lot of journalism students was to work at the New York Times or NBC News. I think there's different dreams today. Thanks so much for taking the time. Thank Appreciate you. it. Yeah.